Um, well, first, thank you, Christina, for that amazing introduction. And Mapule <laughs> um, is the way that she would respectfully respond to that. Um, so thank you to NYU's McSilver Institute for Poverty Policy and Research for naming me among this year's vanguards for social justice, along the other honorees, Sayu, <laughs> um, Reshma, Malcolm, Jose, and Meek Mill. And thank you, Dr. Silver, for starting it all. That's amazing um, that you did that, especially as someone who just got married. I love the fact that you were able to use both your original identity and your married name um, for that. And thank you to the McSilver Institute for recognizing the role of the media. Um, as always, as, as we all try to work on trying to make the society a better place and really a more equal and just place, um, Dr. Martin Luther King said the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. I tend to agree, but I would add that anyone who is looking for some sort of justice needs to be bending that arc constantly. Um, I became a journalist because of the story of Emmett Till. He was a young black boy murdered in 1955 when a white woman falsely accused him of flirting with her. Um, his mother, Mammy Till, decided to open her son's coffin and quite literally change the world by demanding that everyone look and see what injustice actually looked like. Um, she bent the arc of justice and inspired Rosa Parks to sit down um, and take a stand. And decades later, she inspired me to become what I think of myself as is just a civil rights journalist in whatever beat I'm covering. I never imagined I would end up covering similar stories, um, young men and women whose lives have been threatened by falsehoods, stereotypes, and a political system rife with institutional racism. Um, our world is filled with injustices and inequality, and it's really up to all of us to use our God-given talents to figure out how we can just change the world just a little bit every day. As journalists, it's our responsibility to hold those in power accountable, shine a light on truth, and provide a voice for people who may never walk into the White House. Um, that's what I try to do every day, and I'm humbled and honored and feel blessed to be recognized for that work. Thank you.